Hello. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a contact form using HTML and PHP. Now, before I begin, I do realize there are a lot of ways that a contact form can be created. But the way that I'm going to show you today is the way that I've used for a long time and I've not really had any issues with it. I'm not going to show you any front ends for this. It's going to be all back end coding. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, one of the things that I like to do with my contact forms is I like to use one page for this, for this contact form. Now, some users will have a separate file, which when the user clicks submit, they, uh, another file gets executed and ran, and that's what sends the mail. I'm going to simplify this by using one page. We're going to be able to do that contact form, and we're going to be able to do it efficiently and nicely. So let's start off here with the PHP. Uh, let's create an if statement here. And we're going to call the server variable, which, or um, function, excuse me, that is uh, in PHP by default. This is a PHP function. And we're going to pass in the parameter of request method. And we want to see if that request method is equal to post. So if it is equal to post, go ahead and execute. Else, execute what's in here. Now you're really running why I did this this way here. That's because I, to write my form for the user to be able to fill in the data, I want to make it to where they can, you can write HTML for this. Uh, yes, I could probably do an echo and, and echo it all out and go that route, but I just don't like that. So, but before we get into the HTML, we're going to create a variable called self which that variable is going to hold the results of the server function and this time we're going to pass in php underscore self which basically what this is going to do is it's going to get the file name and the URL and it's going to store that in that variable self Now, I cheated a little bit here, and I pasted in this, because I'm sure you don't need to do it, but we're just going to go over what we have here. So this form is going to be a method post. The name here, that is not a requirement. I just like to do that for styling purposes. And here in the action, you see we're calling that self variable. So basically, when submit is hit, it's going to just echo that self there. And as you can see, this is a pretty standard HTML form. And the things you want to do for your name and your email is you need to make sure name and ID is here. Because those are very important for when the user submits to be able to grab that data to build your form. For the reason or your description, I just have what can I do for you. I'm just using a text area with an ID and a name of reason. And then I just have a simple submit and reset. So basically if you were to add any rows in here, you just need to make sure you grab the name and ID and then you need to come up here and update this. 
so now what we're going to do, so the user go ahead and they hit submit. So now what we want to do is we want to create, we want to grab those values that they enter. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a trim here. I like to just trim any, uh, actually, let's not do a trim for that one. Because I said I was going to keep this simple. So we're going to do a post. Cuss name. Then we are going to do email from is equal to underscore posts. Just copy that there. And this one is going to be cuss email to match over here. Reason is equal to reason. And these variable names over here, this could be anything. This could be name Bigfoot. It doesn't really matter uh, what you call your variables. Just remember when you get farther down, when you need to reference those variables, that you reference the right variables. So now I'm going to add some info here that's not going to come from that form. And we're going to put an email to. This is basically the email address that the form, when it's sent, is going to send it to. And then, of course, with any email, you need some form of a subject. Then form from website. Now what we're going to do is protect yourself or help alleviate you yourself from spam. We're going to want to create create some headers here. Backslash n reply to email from so there's the first part of the headers. Now we're going to do this dot equal, which basically what this does is this concatenates to that original header variable. And we're going to set mime version 1.0, that's sharp. Now these are the headers I still use. Uh, one of these days I probably should go and check to see if these have been updated. So now you're going to set the... We're going to set this to an HTML email. And we're going to set the char set equal to ISO dash Eight eight five nine dash one backslash R backslash N. So now what we want to do that we got the headers done. So we're gonna actually build your message. Now this you will have to do in HTML. Now 
I am, uh, I'm just going to make this a simple one here. So we're going to say from name email email from I'm going to throw a BR in there and let's just throw an HR in there and then the reason so this could technically be anything you really want it to be inside this message you could make some HTML you could make another table it all depends on how you want this to be built but again for sake just to show you that's that's what I'm going to show you there so now let's actually call the man uh, in PHP it does have a mail function built in so we're gonna do the email to we are going to do the subject message header and that's it for that and so the user doesn't get a blank page just do something like thank you for contacting us someone will get back to you as soon as we can thank you. Oops. So there we go. Again, very simple, but again, it gets the job done if you're just trying to do a simple contact us on your website or for a website for a customer. So if you're watching this on YouTube, uh, if you do like, please comment, subscribe, and thank you very much.